Hey, hi friends, welcome back. Once again today, it's time for Money Talk. We're in a brand new series, as you know, we're calling this series the 31 Facts About the Law of the Seed, and we're moving along, we're up to number three. The first fact we learned was that there will never be a day in your life that you have nothing to sow. That was a really important principle. The second one was the fact that you will always reap what you sow. Here's the principle I want to teach you today. Listen to this. It's really powerful. Seed faith enables you to sow what you have to create what you have been promised. Seed faith is the principle that God's provided where you can take what you already have and you can sow it to create what you have been promised. Here's the foundational verse for this from the Word of God, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse number 10. Now he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will also supply and increase your store of seed and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness. So I want to give you quickly today three timeless truths about sowing. Here they are. Number one, the seed that leaves your hand never leaves your life. This is the real miracle of the concept of sowing. Anything that leaves my hand never leaves my life. It actually is still mine. Even though I'm not holding it, although I'm not controlling it, I'm not really touching it. I, I may think it's, it's gone forever. I, I'll never see it again. And that's really not true. Because if I take my seed and I put my seed in the soil, even though that seed has left my hand, that seed is still mine. It's in the soil. So that when the harvest comes, that will be my harvest. <laughs> Those beautiful red vine ripened tomatoes, they are mine because they came from my seed. The seed that left my hand never left my life. And, and that's true of any kind of a seed. For example, words. The words that leave your mouth never leave your life. Proverbs 18, 21, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Even though you speak words and they're out of your mouth and you may think they're gone forever. No, they're still out there and they will return to your life at some point in the future to bring a good harvest or a negative one. So here's the second principle. The seed always goes into the future. Seed never goes to the past. Seed never gets uh, just... Uh, forgotten, the seed always goes into my future. This is the very reason we talk so much here at Family First about sowing seed because sowing seed schedules the harvest of God's blessing and provision in our life. But here's the third statement. The next time you see your seed, it will be greater than when you sowed it. When your seed goes into the future, when you catch up to it, you'll find that when you see it again, it was much larger than when you put it in the ground because the seed multiplies. This is true with any kind of a seed. I could illustrate this a thousand ways. I just happen to be familiar with corn, uh, sweet corn seed because I've studied these numbers. And by the way, I just love sweet, sweet corn right out of the field, especially from the great state of Indiana. But if you think about it, one little kernel of corn, one little kernel goes into the ground, it grows one stalk. One stalk, one corn stalk, produces on average two to three ears. Each of those two to three ears on average produces 600 to 700 or more kernels of corn. So if you do the math, that is an increase of over 2,000 to one. Because when I see my seed in the future, it will become much larger than the time that it left my hand because it never left my life. That's an incredible return on investment. There's no bank, there's no broker, there's no stock, there's no bond that will promise you that kind of a return that the Word of God promised the increase in your life. Here's what Jesus said. This is in Matthew chapter 13, verse number 8. Other seed though, good seed, fell into good ground and it brought forth fruit some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some thirtyfold. The seed is what I have now that God has given me to create the future that I have been promised. God bless you.